Hello everyone and welcome to another day of our tutorial. So today I'm going to learn about um, how to create okay. So as you can see here the page um, is diagonal with the contents in it. So we're going to do this with as I said with only HTML and then CS alright so without which team lifestyle let's get started. All right, so in your favorite text editor, uh, we're going to create your starter files. That is your index.html. So I'm going to do that. And then, um, so inside your HTML, inside your HTML document, I'm going to rename this to the other page. All right, so now let's test out our HTML. Hello world. Um, straight away, let's test out our CSS file. Let's attach it so that we test with okay, during the same time. All right, so let me link my CSS file to my HTML. And then let me start my gig or prefix. All right, so now with my live server, um, I'm going to view this in my browser over here. Um, it's going to open very soon. All right, we see that everything is working correctly. All right, so let's go on. So now to create this, let's read our header component. And we'll the diagonal change with CSS. In the key, that's what it's going to be. And then another header, let's create a thing. That's going to put the uh, diagonal sheets. Let's give it a class with the opening. We'll come back to this one later, but for now, let's start our header components right here. Let me start. So now, right here, header. Well, text align to be center. And then, um, let me give you the color. Um, maybe the girl player how you go friend me. And then we're running with this play to be Yes, but I want my content to be in the middle of the page. So let me place our uh, tools to be on top. Yes, so now it's in the middle of the page. All right, I want my text to be a bit bigger. So you're going to get it at font five at 1.5 run. Well, it's okay. But to make my CSS some color, I want to create some root variables. You know? um, um, so now I want to create variables. It's all background. Up to this point, you can just copy my code. Yeah. yeah. It's our body. Our background will be. Oh, uh, uh, variable background that we choose, and then our font only. Only oh, let me make it. Oh, let me choose the third one over here. Okay, that's it. Now everything should look a bit okay. Now, all right. All right, so everything is looking now. Oh, we only need to get color. 
sangat kuat ya. Alright. Oh. It's, my text is looking a bit thinner. And I think it has to do with... Well... It has to do with the fact that I'm supposed to make this a uh, hey, uh, an H1. Okay, let me make this an H1. Alright, so now everything should look okay now. Yes, it looks okay now. So we are going to head um, straight forward to our diagonal div over here to give it the diagonal look. So if for this, we make to take another div. So we call the team the content of the diagonal div. So now the content of the diagonal div is going to be over here. Um, so in our case this would be uh, a diagonal div okay that's the whole thing then the diagonal content will be these two so our diagonal content is going to be holding two other this that's the div for containing this whole thing and then the div for these boxes you see over here okay uh, so we're going to create um, two divs for that so, we have two days over here. The first day has the two text on and then a paragraph in it. Okay, so you're going to create that. And then let, so now let's create that. So the first text is going to be on the header two. We are H2 with um and then you're going to have an h1 over here too it's a great three to there it's a great way to learn and then you need to have a uh, paragraph uh, here right here um let's create a lorem with such five characters okay yes so now we see it has appeared over here um so for the meantime let's let's start our our diagonal div let's start what we have so far okay so for our diagonal div well, we're going to give it a background top on black and then the content in it will be colored white and then the border yes so the background black black is appearing well let's give it a border radius too um, out of the meat variables that you created to be radius okay so now we see it has appeared over here nicely as we want it to all right so now let's go back to uh html and um, do something about our second div component um, let me give this one a class name of cards because i'm going to create a four card component so you can give it um, a class of cards you know all right so because we're giving it a class of cards meaning that for these two discs over here um, inside the diagonal content um they are going to be displayed uh, flex or in my way i choose the grid method because i'm more comfortable with okay uh -huh. so let's so let's start let's go straight ahead and start uh i don't know content yeah. all that gonna have content so um a display is going to be a print and then 
we simply close maybe it's five points and then 55 percent okay all right so let's do that and then let's put a gap in between them say five percent all right so you see a card components are not up here because i've not given them a height and a width yet okay so let's go ahead and then and then let's just um let's start our card components okay oh so our for our card components again to display them to be flex we have four remember that we have four days inside we're going to have four days there are four cards over here okay so four days for this so you're going to display figures so you're going to justify it yes yeah, so it does buy contents the center you're going to align items to the center we want the whole thing to be in the middle and then you need to target each of the this all the this and uh, which are the direct child of this card they over here that we see so you're going to target each one of them okay so let's we'll give them in all of them a weight of say 12 right and then the height of 15 and 1 up to now nothing has appeared yet because you've not given them a background color yet okay so now let's give them a background color of three four so at this point yes they are here they are displayed as flex but remember um, i didn't i didn't give them a gap for us to see them perfectly so let me give them a gap of say two them now they are appearing over here you see them appearing nicely let's place the content is inside each of the this thing so let's just put numbers over there one two three four so for us to see the writings on each side of them let's put here color to the for black so that we see them clearly and then we're going to align the text to be center okay so the text to be aligned here. So I want it to be directly in the middle of all of the cards. So let's see the grid up here. So you set to display grid. And then we're going to place, in this case, we're going to place the contents of the day to be with salt. And then let's set a border radius for each of the days to, to, to let's say two round. All right, so far so good. Everything looks like we want it to. Okay. So now um, let's let's go back to the top. Okay, let's go back to the top and try to style this the component over here. Okay. Uh -huh. So remember that we didn't attach a class name to that div components we just i like the second one so let's use css to target that div so let's use this say let's i want to add quality and fun codes and then the first child of it if we turn out of the pattern to and then but let's give it also a border of two pixels solid right so the border the borders are actually there but they don't appear yet they're going to appear very 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 soon all right then now Let's try to tilt our our 
Dave over here, our diagonal Dave. You want you remember that we want to give it that diagonal look. So for us to do that, we need to tilt it. So now let's visit um, the internet on how to do this. Okay. Yeah. So for this, I agreed to use. I decided to use the skill method, and this is why. So let's find out why. In this case, you have to use this. So now let's try to check something on the internet. Um, I choose um, skill for this approach, but others will suggest that I should use um, rotate. Well, let's try to find out more. Um, so let's search on the internet. Skill CSS compared to rotate. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's try to read what's over here. Rotate, rotate the elements clockwise from its current position. Um, skill, I'm seeing a lot over here. Let me go down. Skill slants vertically or horizontally. There's a lot I'm seeing over here. Let me check um, images for me to understand um, very, very well. Okay, I see a nice imagery here. So rotate, you could see that rotate turns the element on it as this was skill gets it just slants. It maintains the object on the axis, but just slants it. All right, so let's come back to our text editor. So now we've agreed that we are going to use skill to transform our D for it to look um, the diagonal that we want to see, right? All right, so now let's go straight to it. They're going to transform. Remember, we are going to skill it on the Y as a sortage. So you're going to skill it on the Y as a by three degrees. So let's see the effects. You see, it has been skewed um, by 30 degrees on the axis. But then positive skew gives us um, this kind of look. But then we don't want positive skew. We rather want um, the negative skew. Okay. Now you see that our content inside it. So remember that we have to skew that one also for it to look straight, you know, vertical. We don't want it. We don't want the content inside this to be skewed. So you're going to do what I call reverse skewing. Okay, so let's do a reverse skew then. So a reverse skewing with negative three degrees arms positive three degrees for you to do your reverse skew. So you realize that our content now looks vertically straight. Alright. But over here you see that we still have a problem with um, our pattern. We want the object to have a space around it. But then you remember that we can't just do any kind of pattern. You know, somebody will say, well, why don't you just put spad in here, say, three run. And then the object becomes by padding. No, it's going to look some way. Okay. We need to apply a CSS trick to bring about the padding that we want to see over here. Okay, now, for us to do this kind of padding that I'm talking about that you see over here, you have to use a, a CSS property we call cam. So let's try to use our time on uh, what MDN Docs has to say about time on the using MSK. So now let's search. Let's see what MDN Docs has to say. Okay. So now let's search time on CSS MDN Docs. So um, the time CSS function. Let's let's open the page to read more. The tan CSS function is a trigonometric function that returns the tan of a number. We are going to use tan over here because we want to apply, we want to rotate the pattern. Okay. Uh -huh. So for us to do that, um, we are going to use the first property you see over here. That is um, calc into brackets. The weight of the element times the tan of the angle. Okay, remember that it is pattern that we want to apply. And if you want to apply this um, pattern for it to look well on your div, you're supposed to um, rotate the pattern in such a way that anytime you space out between the element and its walls, there will be enough space and it's going to look nice. And for that, you have to use this as a property term. Okay, so to apply this kind of um, rotated look for for the pattern to look nice we're going to calculate the weight 
you're going to calculate the weight of the element times the tan of the angle by which you rotated the element. So in our case, the angle rotated the element is three degrees, right? Uh -huh. So now let's do that in our project to see. So now let's do that in our project to see. Remember that I said the pattern, this pattern doesn't work. You know, it gave us a weird look that we didn't want. So now let's try the ones we saw on MDN docs. Okay, so now the pattern is going to be a calculated value that is the weight of the date. In our case, the weight of the day is 100 BW times a tan of the angle. You know, so the angle we use over here is 3 degrees. Okay, uh, so now we do that and Tara, you see it has applied the padding look that we want. Okay, but since we want our padding to be bigger and more, we want the elements to have more space around it. Let's try to increase our angle. Okay, so the more we increase our angle, the more the padding increases around the divs, you see. So now with this. We effectively apply a padding around um, the elements okay all right so now that we have done with the first part let's go to the second part that is um, trying to scale the rest of the cards over here so for that um, so let's target the days of that day okay um now i'm going to target the each of the cards evenly but if, if i should do that one after the other it's going to take time so i'm going to use uh, the css selector okay so now let, let's choose um, all plus one let me be l plus one the n plus one over here the n plus one okay then let's transform and uh, let's see on the y as a c So let's kill on the y as this say a uh, minus eight degrees. This time around we want it to we want it to rotate very nicely and we want it to rotate more too. So now we mean that automatically selects everything. We want to select some of the elements and leave the others. So right here, let in let the two end. For us to um, transform the rest positively, see so it is key why it decrease. So upon doing that, realize that you know, it selects the all the elements have been skewed um, in this direction towards this direction and then upon using the pseudo selector to m it selects the second and then the last element for it to be skewed the other way so this you see the selector specificity specificity over here it selects the second i mean the last one because of the two end that we did over here for it to be skewed on a positive direction okay so you can go ahead and make the text inside the divs um, look a bit bigger so with the diagonal content we well, would see if i give it a font size of and you leave it into it will be yes so the text are looking like they we want them to everything is looking big now so you can try your hands 
try to create uh, more values for for what they've solicited the answer. But we can just go ahead to make this one responsive. Um, though um, that was not the purpose of this uh, video, but then um, let's let's push ourselves further. Let's try to push ourselves further. Okay. So on our mobile VA. Well, you don't get an online click and click. Let me give them a little bit of a word. Sit to sleep as far as you get a mobile view. Okay. So now over here, let's. Uh, oh, come on. I have the mouth content. Let's make that day ten years columns one if our so that everything looks straight over here. And then our card component. So let's also uh, make the flex. Let's set this flex flex wrap to wrap. All right, all right. It's looking nice and now. Um, all right, so you can go ahead and implement more properties that you want to use over here. So that is how you implement um, a diagonal with just HTML and then CSS. Thank you.